doing this. All right, so this is the fingertip mini pull machine. <laughs> Terry just got in the mail. Yeah. Otherwise known as a mini potter's wheel. Mini potter's know. wheel. My friend on Facebook said, there's a pull my finger vote joke in here somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's the internet for you. They'll always find a way to take it down their level. Nah, she's funny. Oh, no, I'm not saying. Somebody would have come up with that. Yeah. So this machine is totally cool because you can do right-handed or left-handed. So, so this is right-handed, down. And then you can adjust your speed with the knob. I find that fast is good in the beginning because this can't take a lot of pressure. Or you can actually make the wheel stop, see? I can actually slow the wheel down with just with the force of my fingers. And this clay is a little teeny bit hard, but as we get going with it, you can make that clay softer by adding water. And you can slow it down when it's time to do like delicate work. So it just, just takes a soft touch. So I already did one little piece and now I'm going to do another little piece. I'm going to bring this down, but I'm going to do it slowly so I'm not hard on the motor. Like I said, this isn't like a potter's wheel with a super strong motor. However, I think if I research and figure it out, I can actually build one of these. You know, you just need like a little motor with a spinning gear on it and I can also rig up my potter's wheel to do really small stuff if I wanted to my life-size potter's wheel okay so I just brought the centered that to a certain point and brought it down now I'm going to put a hole in it with my fingertip I can also use a tool right here like so nice and slow and then oops I went all the way to the bottom on that one anyways I can take this and get rid of the excess water I'm not trying to rush it by sort of BM because I don't want to be a real long video but start with the main cylinder and any little bit of off centeredness just like when you're throwing on a life size potter wheel will always come up. We have to slow this down now. The taller the pot, the slower the speed. Same deal, same principles. Even though we're using a little tiny thing, right? It's kind of cool though, it teaches you the principles without using a lot of material. Yeah, true. So I bought the second one. So we can compare, it's a different type. So we can compare and see which ones work better. But I also bought the second one so that I can actually teach somebody. There's a little- We don't have the second one yet. It's no. Kind of in the mail. There's a little child that I'm really interested in teaching her how to use it. We're not there yet. So all I'm gonna do with this one is I'm not gonna choke this one too much. I'm actually going to let this be like a little, little teeny tiny bowl. I'm going to flare this one out. The original one that I made is like a little, this has a slight hole in the bottom, which I'll patch later. Now, check this out. I'm going to take this wooden stick tool that is life size. And I'm going to go in just like I would on a big pot. Okay, and just take away that. See how I can stop the wheel? So I have to go kind of slow because I don't want to stop it. So I'll speed this up a little bit. Yeah. Try to take away the, uh, the extra. extra. Just at the base. Now I'm not, I'm gonna, I did this before. You can still do this, but again, you'll stop the wheel if you yeah, push too hard. So. So I'm just going to take away some of it, some of the extra stuff. Can you, does it work better if it's slower? Oh, you can go from the inside, yeah, the outside, yeah. I don't, no, I don't think it works better if it's slower. 
It's, it's about your touch. It's like just sometimes it's like better not to go straight down mm -hmm. on the touch, but more of an angle. Mm -hmm. Okay, now that it's like that, I'm going to stop it. So I'm just going to take this and click it all the way. And after every every little pot or whatever, I will clean it. Get a little funk over there. Oh, yeah. Well, I'm going to leave that there for now. Okay. And I'll clean it off. So I'm going to cut this just like I would with the wire tool, right? Last time I did this, it actually moved with it. And it's doing the same thing because it's so small. Yeah. So that's okay. Whatever you need to do to get it off, okay? And then if I don't the want to... The four-finger method? Yeah, peace my signs. finger. My fingers are too big to do the piece sign. So I'm just going to take oh, a yeah, little use the rib. Here without scratching the head of the wheel and nice. just pop it up, you know. And then, you, then I'm just going to put it over here on this piece of paper. So this is number two, one and two. And this is just for fun. But what I can see on this wheel happening, this little wheel, is I can see um, little vessels like those that are, maybe could hold something, be functional, but I also, you can make solid vessels mm -hmm. that aren't functional. Go little Hershey's Kiss. You could make um, like uh, tea cut, like jewelry, mm. spinning tops, uh, game pieces, anything that has, that's round. You can use this as kind of like a lathe kind of thing. But the only thing is that I'm noticing is you have to have like um, a gentle touch. Mm -hmm. You just have to have a gentle touch with this. This has 23 RPMs. And the one that I have coming is a little bit larger, but it says it only has 300 or something. Well, actually it didn't say. It just says low, low to moderate speed. But um, I believe it's also left-handed or right-handed, but it's a little bit bigger. The machine is more square and the head is bigger, so we'll compare the two. Is it about the same price? Uh, yes. The next one we are getting is $57. This one was $50. Oh. But the next one we're getting has more tools with it, more small tools for trimming and um, scraping, and like a lathe. It has more uh, nice. carving tools. All right. Okay, so would you like to try it, Patrick? 